hello everyone welcome again to this video in this video we take a look at how you can get pre uh, make your documents ready for upload in the TMIL system so when you look at my uh, my screen here I have a folder this where I've placed all uh, the, the the documents that I'm supposed to submit uh, during my application but before even placing them in the folder you need to the first process is always scanning them and we have uh, a variety of scanners in the in the market there so uh, does not matter the type of scanner you use but just that different scanners have uh, different formats uh, that they allow you to convert the scan documents into <laughs> so um, no matter the format your documents are scanned in, it does not matter. So let's get, uh, have a look at uh, the formats of my documents, my scan documents. So in this tutorial, uh, I've just placed only two uh, documents in the in the in that folder, the tutorial folder, like you are seeing here. I have this very uh, the first document, which is um, the original. Uh, copy of the degree transcript and then I have the USCE result slip. So these two documents are having uh, different formats. This one here, when you look at it, right click and you will check uh, the document properties right here. Yeah, so when you check the document property of that particular document, you check and see that. Uh, the document is of a GIP, uh, .jpg file, okay. so it's an image format. And then this very one is a PDF, that, that's why you're seeing type of file. So it's a PDF file. So these are two different uh, document file formats. And uh, so let's first get, get to the TMIS uh, page and then we we'll see what type of formats do they always need. So let me uh, get to the TMIS page and then we shall uh, see how we can upload our documents. Now I want to just reload this page because I had opened it earlier on. I, I know it will not accept if I don't um, reload it again. So. Let it first reload and then, yes. Now, for people who have ever used the Timmy system, you will always, this is the third step, step number three, where one is required to place the educational uh, details, the schools you studied in, the institution type, and then the certificates obtained in that very school, the subjects taught. Then our major area of emphasis is where you, you upload the qualification documents which is right here just in the right hand side here so when you look at uh, this uh, um, uh, below this this text box right here where where the document file path has to be written so you see that uh, there's a message that says allowed formats these are the allowed formats of the documents you are supposed to upload we have the PDF uh, format we have the TIFF the JPG, the JPEG, then the PNG. So those are the available formats that are allowed for documents to be uploaded on this system. So among the, the, the formats, I majorly recommend someone to always uh, convert their documents into a PDF format because it's, it's, it's quite a very portable type of format of the documents. So Besides that, we have the maximum size of a document uploaded uh, on the TMIS system. So we have the, the, the files must be uh, having a maximum size of at least 2,000 kilobytes. For those who do conversions, you will know that 2,000 kilobytes is equivalent of 2 megabytes. So that means the file you are going to upload must not be greater than 2 megabytes it has to be less than that so um let's look at one instance where the 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 document you are uploading is 
uh, is, is, is more than the size that is required. So let's let's try to upload one of the, the documents in my uh, folder where the documents are. So I'll just click that uh, document upload button. Then I wait for a dialog box, the file upload dialog box to, to pop up like this. So when it pops up like this, I will uh, locate the location where my folder that has those files are, which is this. I will double click that, and then the uh, the documents are here. So let me first have uh, a trial on this uh, document. So I click on it, and then I would say open. So once I say open, you will see a message that says the uploaded file exceeds the maximum. Uh, I want to, to see that uh, that again. So click open and see the uploaded file exceeds the allowed size. So that means the file I'm trying to upload is having more. Uh, the, the 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 size is, is bigger than the required the maximum size set documents to upload it here. so what we do is we need to compress the file so that it is smaller than 2000 kilobytes so what we do we open a new tab just right here you go to google and then you type there there's a website which is called i love pdf so you just type i love pdf like that and then you give Google time to search for those uh, sites so it's even up here so you will, you will click, click this uh, the first uh, link that comes because that's the website you are looking for so that website always helps us to convert our images uh, to PDF convert PDF to other formats also we can compress PDF files so what we do now is we shall come here to compress because we have a lot of options that are provided by the site that you can select from. So our emphasis is to compress the PDF file. So we click that so that it gives us the options to compress our PDF. So now you see it, it, it requests us to select the PDF file we want to compress. So click that red button so that it gives us that dialog box. Uh, which will allow us to upload file. So, get to the desktop. It's already even there. And then go to that folder. And it's now already here. That's the document I want to compress. So, click open. So that the document is selected here. So, uh, here we have um, three types of compression levels. So you can select any. That you want, but the recommended compression uh, um, level is this second one. So you can just hit compress so that the compression starts. Okay. So when the compression starts, um, you will see that your file has been compressed and. Uh, it is now 39% smaller than previously how it was. So you see that even after compression, we still have about 2,000 plus kilobytes. So we still we are not yet good to go. So we don't go by that. We click this to get back so that we will choose a different compression level. So you click select PDF file, click that, open, and then here you can you can. You can click the first uh, option which is extreme compression so you click compress PDF uh, so it's first uploading then it will do the compression so now it's compressing so you wait until the compression is done so when the compression is done it gives you uh, information about the compression so you see now at least we have uh, before even you download this, we, we, we have uh, the documents have been compressed 
to from 3.51 MBs to now 829.61 kilobytes. At least that is pretty much smaller than the, the maximum size set. So it is even 77% smaller than how it was before. So now you are good to go. The TMI system will allow that. So you go ahead and click download the compressed PDF. So when you click download, you see a dialog box that tells you how to save it. So you click save file and then you can click OK and then wait for it to be downloaded. So once it is downloaded, you will see this button that says it is completed. Now you click this uh, folder icon to take you to that folder, the download folder where that downloaded file is. So when it is there, uh, you see that option is right there. So what you do, you can now right click to remove it from the, the downloads folder. You cut it, and then you can go back to the desktop, and then look for the other uh, folder. And then uh, inside the folder, you can right click because you don't want to interfere with this original. So you right click and then go to new then folder and then you can say compressed files okay just give it a folder called compressed files so when once you do that you open the compressed folder then inside you can just hit this best uh, icon so that it is pasted so now you see that our result slip is now compressed it is now having a reduced size so now you go ahead and upload it so you go back to the tmis page come here click that button this time you don't click this because this is the original one so what you do you click the compri compressed uh, files fo folder that you have created open it compressed file is there click open and then the url of the document is already indicated that means it's a success the document has been accepted for upload then you can go ahead and give it a name that you see results slip and then you can click add so that the document is added so the document has been added so now what you do next is that once you look when you look at this very other document because you have just handled this document is us series so when you look at this other document it is in a, an image format it is a jpg file so what we do is we need to convert it to pdf since we are saying the pdf format is the best for us to use that means with all our files um however much we scan them in different formats we can still convert them back to pdf so what to do we convert this to pdf before we also upload it so we still go back to that uh, very uh, website called I love pdf.com. So you come here and then convert PDF, and then you'll have a lot of options right here. So you look for a JPG to PDF because you are converting a file that is in a JPG format. So you click that, and then you wait. So when you you click that you will see a button that requests you to upload that image file so when you click that go now and select it and then open so there it, it comes so what you do is uh, you will come and just say convert pdf there's nothing else you're going to do just say convert pdf and wait so normally it first has to upload the file before it does the, co the conversion. So it has even done the conversion. So you what to do, you click download file, download the PDF, and then um, you can save the file. Click save, then you wait for it to be the download complete. So when it is completed, you come right here and click this get to the download uh, folder so the downloaded file is right here so what you do again you can cut it and then get back to your desktop that folder 
and then you can even paste it just outside here so when you paste it outside there if you want to keep this original uh, image format it's okay but if it is confusing you you can now do away with it just select it and then delete so that it is no longer existing so you just have the converted copy which is in the pdf uh, format now so get back to your gmail page click that and then get to the desktop browse the folder and then your file is there the converted file is there click open and then you can type uh, the file name the original copy of um, degree certificate okay. so it's a degree transcript so original certificate of the degree transcript and then you can go ahead and add okay so once you're done adding you can now follow the other steps of previewing your application so after doing that you can now hit submit so that your document is submitted so thank you very much for watching see you again in my next uh, upload thank you